I'm going to run through a few examples to show you how to use E cell is E right hand electrode subtract E left hand electrode. Next question says find the EMF of uh, this cell which has FEFE2 plus has the left hand uh, half cell and uh, PB2 plus PB as the right hand half cell and the data you've been given are the electrode potentials for those two things. So writing out the formula E cell is the right hand electrode subtract the left hand electrode and then we can just put in the numbers so the right hand side is the lead there which is a minus 0.13 then we need to subtract the left hand side so that's a double minus 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 0.44 which comes out as plus 0.31 volts uh, let's get uh, straight onto this similar example just to show you how straightforward a question like this is. Here we have a copper electrode uh, half cell and a magnesium half cell uh, and there I'm just going to label these the left hand side and the right hand side because that's on the left and that's on the right. Uh, we're given the standard electrode potentials for those two things. I can write the formula so E cell is uh, right hand side subtract left hand side and the right hand side is the magnesium which is minus 2.37 and the left hand side uh, is 0.34 so minus the 0.34 and that gives an answer of minus 2.71 volts. So that's it for this type of question. You can get questions in which you have to rearrange this formula to work out E right hand side or E left hand side and that's what I'll go on to in the next example.